Why we don't use this one more often is beyond me. I mean, don't you always want to reference being on the phone as to have a tinkle on the blower? I know that I do. Hey guys, I'm Lily Collins, and I'm gonna be teaching you a little bit of British slang. Lippy. So when you're lippy, it means you're mouthing off to someone and giving them a little bit of a hard time. I used to be pretty lippy. I could say that I was, I, I could be a little lippy as a kid. It's kind of a cool word, I like to use that one actually. All right, bezel. Bezel is, to go for a bezel is to go for a drink. So people will reference it more like, after work, you wanna go for a bezel down by the pub? Blub. Blub is to swell, to be like swollen. This word is really good because it actually sounds exactly as it looks and as the word would seem, like blubber. Easy to remember. To be cream knackered means to be totally exhausted. Ooh, full of beans. My dad used to say that I was full of beans, which could kind of mean a lot of things if you think about it. Um, but full of beans means like full of life, full of energy. Uh, yeah, as a kid, I was always full of beans. And I also used to say that to my little brothers, um, which they thought was just hilarious because like what kid wants to be told they're full of beans? Waste man. Waste man is someone who's like super lazy. So like a waste man could be cream knackered all the time because they're basically not doing anything. They are not full of beans, I'll tell you that much. Our kid. Our kid is usually referenced, I guess you could say, when it's like, oh, our like younger friend, our boy, our dude. Um, kind of like a term of endearment. It's kind of like comparable to the younger sibling of a friend of yours or something. So like, oh yeah, that's just like our kid. Why I means yes. Just another way of saying, uh, well, yeah. Botched. We like this word. This is a fun word to say. Botched is when something gets just completely ruined. When you've botched your homework, you've botched a job, if you dye your hair the wrong color, you botch that hair dye. There's a lot of ways you can use botch. It's really, I like this one. It's one of my favorites. Ledge. I mean, who doesn't want to be called a ledge? Just another word of saying legend. Just the abbreviated version of wazak, which is basically a stupid person. Someone that just doesn't really know what's going on. Sorted. All right, when you're sorted, you've got it all figured out. You want to be someone who's sorted has it all together, tied in a little bow, and is very, very organized and has it going on. Splash out. Now, I also used to use this one a lot when I was growing up in England, and also I still use it. To splash out is to like go all out, to have fun, to kind of go without limits, to just like go on, splash out, spend that money, go out with your friends, have that extra drink, enjoy yourself, I guess. Row, mm, to have a row is to have a fight, to have an argument. You don't wanna have a row. Although you could probably have a couple rows if you really splashed out that one night. Fancy, I still use this one all the time and I get made fun of because people go, that's just very British and fancy of you to say. Um, but to fancy something is to really, to like, like what do, you, what do you fancy doing tonight? What would be your preference? What do you wanna do? Another way of using it is to say that I really fancy him or I really fancy her. It's a, a romantic term of having a crush on someone or finding someone attractive. And then, if you really fancy that person, you wanna chat them up. You wanna start talking to them, you wanna flirt, you wanna figure them out. So that's perfect segue. Lush. Lush can be referenced to a person, say that that person is lush, like he's so lush, he's so attractive. I fancy him and I wanna chat him up. Lush can also just mean like divine and yummy and lovely and you can describe a couch as lush, you can describe a beauty product as lush, a place as lush. It's anything that you just really, really find to be decadent and lovely and something that you want to do, somewhere you wanna go or something that you wanna have. Cheeky. Also something that I used to be called, and I could probably still be called this at times. Cheeky is someone that is like sassy and fun and has kind of a sarcastic tone sometimes and is a little mischievous. Fit. Fit is, okay, fit is describing a person when they're gorgeous, handsome, pretty, you're into them. They're lush, they're fit. You fancy them, you wanna chat them up. All these words can all be described 
in a very similar way, you want to do all of these things when you find that someone is fit. So Randy is in reference to being like turned on. So if someone is fit and lush and you fancy them, they might make you Randy. You might, Randy is, is you, are, you are now into them. You are turned on. A few sandwiches short of a picnic is a really nice and funny way of telling someone that they're just not quite smart. They're just a little bit shy. They're, uh, they're not the sharpest tool in the toolbox, if you will. To pull a blinder is to do something skillfully, but without really having to try. So it's either out of luck or pure skill. So we all remember those kids in school that could just like pull a blinder and get an A on a test and make it look really, really easy, but they were just really good at that subject. It was always pretty annoying, but. Uh, boot. All right, boot is something that I still use today and kind of do get made fun of or people just look really confused when I'm referencing it. The car boot is the car trunk. So if I'm storing stuff in the back of the car, I'll be like, hey, uh, my boot is full. People are like, your boot? Like, what are you talking about? Um, so maybe you should try this one next time and see what people's reactions are. Brawly is a really cute way of saying umbrella. It's like an abbreviated brelly, brawly. I still like to use this one now. And it just sounds like much cuter. So when it's raining, you just wanna go get your little brawly. Lurgy, lurgy is someone who's sick or feeling under the weather. Builder's tea, oh, this is so popular in England. Builder's tea is like a really good strong cup of tea with just like a little bit of milk. So it's like super, super strong. Usually like no sugar, it's just milk and tea. And love a good builder's tea. I'm more on the like sugar side of things, but I appreciate a good solid builder's tea. To leg it, to leg it means to like, let's go, we gotta go fast, let's leg it, we've got to get a move on. So if I'm running late, Someone might say to me, Lily, come on, I've been waiting forever. We really have to leg it and get there on time. Butcher's hook is a bit of a rhyming scheme and it's cockney and it means to have a look. To have a butcher's hook is to have a look. Hank Marvin is another rhyming scheme from cockney and it means to be starving. Ugh, I'm just Hank Marvin. I'm just like totally starving. We gotta leg it to the nearest restaurant. <laughs> it just makes me laugh every single time. Tinkle on the blower. Um, that means to have a conversation on the telephone. Why we don't use this one more often is beyond me. I mean, don't you always want to reference being on the phone as uh, to have a tinkle on the blower? I know that I do. <laughs> I think this is one that I want to start implementing more and more and just like see how many weird looks that I get. Um, all right, a clanger is just a giant mistake. Big, big mistake. To flog is to sell something which seems like an aggressive way of selling something. I imagine them using it like in Renaissance times. I feel like it's a very aggressive way of saying to sell. Ooh, okay, so when you're miffed, you're pissed, you're upset, you're angry, you're in a foul mood, and it may have been because you just had a row. We don't like to be miffed. We like to be full of beans. Ooh, mint. When something is mint, it's cool, it's new, it's fresh. You can describe things as being mint. Like, oh yeah, I love my new shoes. They're just, they're mint. They're super mint. Nick. To nick something is to steal something. So flog is to sell, nick is to steal. You might want to nick something if it's super mint. Ooh, when you're on the pole, it's like you're on the prowl, you're out on the town, you're wanting to flirt. You're trying to find like that next person, that next thing. And you're looking for people that you find fit, that you find lush. It's always in reference to like people in like a night out. Um, and a pea super is a type of day when it's super foggy in London. Like I love a good pea super because I like the lighting. I think it's moody, it's romantic, but it's usually referring to, yeah, the London fog. Well guys, that's all the British slang that I have for you. I hope you learned something new. And so next time it's raining, go grab a brawly, go on the pole, find something lush, maybe nick something mint, you know, just live your life now with some more British slang.